Hello, I'm Steve Davis. I'm head of the Stroke Research Group at the Melbourne Brain Centre. I'm also president of the World Stroke Organisation. Stroke is, of course, an incredibly important and damaging disease in our society. It's the second cause of death worldwide and the most important cause of disability. And we're working here at the Royal Melbourne, particularly on approaches to deliver effective stroke therapy to more people, to open the arteries in acute stroke to restore blood flow, and to improve outcomes. So our research is particularly geared to acute stroke, the first few hours after stroke, <clears throat> these what we call the golden hours when most intervention uh, can be effective. We're actually, one of our exciting programs is to move clot busting treatment, TPA, uh, from the hospital back into the ambulance. Uh, currently, clot busting treatment, tissue plasminogen activator, can only be given in the emergency department of the hospital once a CT scan has been performed. One of our researchers, Adam Muratoya, has devised a, a very innovative protocol to much more rapidly give the treatment uh, using a special system where we get pre-notified by the ambulance service that the patient's about to arrive. We take them straight to the CT scanner and give eligible patients the treatment. And ATA has shown that we can reduce by about half, from about 60 minutes to 30 minutes, the time delay to giving this treatment. We know that earlier time translates directly to better outcome. And in fact, as he'll talk about, every minute we can save will save a day of disability. To move even faster with tissue plasminogen activator, we are planning to put a CT scan into the ambulance. This will be the first one in Australia. This is a project with my colleague, uh, Professor Geoffrey Donnan, who's head of the Flory Institute. Um, and this concept is being used in a very small number of centres around the world. The advantage of having a small CT scanner in the ambulance is that we can image patients, we can determine if they're eligible for TPA, we can give the patient before they arrive in hospital, and we can save, it's been shown in literature, another 30 minutes. I think this is quite a, a revolution in the approach to acute stroke therapy. Now, one of the big advances in the, just in the last year has been that we've known for some time that most strokes are due to blood clots blocking large arteries in the brain, occluding those vessels. Bruce Campbell, uh, together with Peter Mitchell uh, and others here, have performed the extended IA trial. Uh, this trial has shown that unblocking these arteries using a special catheter that's fed up through the artery in the groin, uh, up into the brain arteries, then retrieving the blood clot and pulling it out and restoring the blood flow dramatically improves outcome. This trial's been published quite recently in the New England Journal of Medicine. A number of other trials have been published at the same time, showing that this treatment leads to overwhelming benefits and is a very, very powerful therapy. Uh, we're performing further research involving Bruce, Jeff Donnan and other colleagues here to determine whether giving another agent to nectoplase rather than TPA before the stent retrieval will improve outcomes even further. So these are some of the exciting aspects of our research. A lot of our stroke research is also based on brain imaging, looking at what we call the ischemic penumbra, which is the region around the area of severely irreparably damaged brain that we can potentially resuscitate. So we're using this penumbral imaging, working with our radiology colleagues, Professor Trish Desmond and others, to identify these patients very early, to select individually treatment responders. And we hope also using these techniques, we can extend the time window for therapies that open these arteries and treat people even later. So to conclude, um, 
Thanks for your attention. It's a very exciting time in stroke where we've got new treatments that make a very, very substantial difference. I think in future years we'll see even more exciting changes and we've got a very active group here who uh, is very focused on delivering these benefits. Thank you.